All right, welcome back to Circuits Made Easy. This time, using the exact same materials plus a brad, we are going to make a switch. This time you will need three full pieces of foil. I've already gone ahead and cut my two pieces in half and I've already started my cut for my Christmas light. This third piece um, will come in later when we make our switch and you will probably be able to share this piece of this strip with two to three other people at your table. So not everybody needs to make that third switch or third strip. Okay, so I'm going to again take my Christmas light and I'm going to get it taped onto the back of my foil. These Christmas lights are so easy to get and so inexpensive. Um, if you're looking at doing this at home at Christmas time, if mom and dad has a set a string of Christmas lights where not all of them work and they're going to throw them away, ask them not to and you can cut them apart and make yourself some circuits. And I'm sure your teacher would probably appreciate you bringing them in for her to use as well. Okay, so I've gotten my Christmas light set. I'm going to take my other bottom piece and cut my small little strip out of it so that I have my place to put my battery. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and have one side here that's going to be completely solid. It's going to be one piece. I'm going to go ahead and attach the bottom half where my um, battery will go. I'm going to attach the top part up here with my Christmas light. And now the second side is where it gets just a little more confusing. Okay, I've got my long strip, but I'm not gonna need the entire piece. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna cut probably about two to maybe two and a half inches off of it. And I'm going to go ahead and do like I've done with the other sides and go ahead and get it attached up here at the top. Okay. These don't have to look pretty as long as you make sure that you have all of your conductors touching each other and creating that circuit. Okay. Now for this bottom piece, this is where the final, this piece is going to come into play. What you're going to do is you're going to kind of measure. You want a piece that's going to go past this one. Okay, so I'm going to say probably about three, three and a half inches. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and kind of guess where it's going to be. I'm going to take my brad and my brad is going to have to go right here in the corner through this piece here and through this piece. So a lot of times it's easier. You go ahead and make a mark. Got my mark here on my cardboard and go ahead and just press it through the cardboard first. So you can make sure that you get it all the way through the cardboard. And my cardboard has tape on the back, so it's going to be a little more challenging. Because these pieces of cardboard are easy to find anywhere. If mom and dad gets a package in the mail, you've got a piece of cardboard. Okay, so now that I've gotten made my hole through my cardboard, I'm going to go ahead Stick these back on here. Okay, make sure that I haven't made too big of a space there. I'm going to make sure that I line it up and find my hole so that I'm not fighting to get it through again. 
And I'm going to make sure um, it's right there. I'm right there on top of it. Not sure what's happening here. Just doesn't want to have to go through. Hmm. I know I got it through. Let's just open that up just a little more. And with science, we all know, sometimes we have to work just a little harder to get the things to work. And work properly. Okay, there we go. I have finally gotten it all the way through. So go ahead and put it through. Make sure you open up your bread, but don't put it where it's too tight. Because like we said, this is gonna be a switch. So with a switch, this is gonna to need to be able to turn. Okay, so I'm not going to be taping this one down. Okay, I will put a little bit of tape up here at the top on this one, on the little piece that is for my Christmas light, or I'm sorry, for my battery, because I want that to stay in place. Okay, so now we are going to test our circuit. You can either have the switch on the top, I like putting it on the bottom because then I can guarantee that my conductors are touching. Okay, and we're going to test it out. Okay, to make sure that we made a complete circuit. We made a complete circuit. Now the switch comes into play because all I have to do is take and move this switch, and oops, I now do not have a complete circuit. If I move it back, oh, there's my light again. So this shows us, this is just like your light in your room. You have a switch that the conductors will touch, and then when you go to turn it off, it disconnects those conductors so that your light will go off in the classroom. And that is how you, use, you make a switch.